and China is 375. This means Vietnam is closer with China. And how about after 2016 to 2022? And you may find that something changed. And the USA become important for Vietnam. And for China, still very important, but a little bit dropped down to 3.25. And how about the tendency in the near future? And then you may see that, well, the importance of USA probably will going up. And China still remains the same. This one just give you some ideas how do you compare these 10 different countries for their external uh, foreign strategy toward USA and China? When you look at how about Malaysia? And Malaysia before 2016, and with USA probably is not so close, 3.25, and how about China, 3.5? After, I mean, during the 2016 to 2022, if they have something changed or not, okay? So this just only very change uh, for you to, to see what's exactly going on, still giving you very clear structural um, a change. For example, like this one, USA and China, what you have seen here. Philippines, okay, this is Philippines. In the past, it's quite pro USA, but later on, you may see that after 2019, maybe 2.30 and then, well, moving to uh, China side, but generally speaking, they're still on this position. Uh, Singapore here, Singapore here, it seems nothing different. And how about Indonesia? Indonesia here, and after 2019, Indonesia, well, is a little bit more to USA. And uh, how about Laos? Laos here, so nothing changed. So this one just uh, try to compare the 10 different countries. All right, so over, over here, and we may see that for 10 countries, I just pick up one aspect, especially under the interaction between the state and society, and what will be what kind of policy for them to choose, for them to adopt the market policy. And then this one is an overall, I try to, um, to make a comparison here. Or you may use the other way that like to stay in the market. And what kind of policy may be applied for, towards the society? And this one is changeable and dynamic. And here just showing that positive is approaching market conformity and negative will be state intervention. And this one is the final part for my final um, remarks about the upcoming development pattern for Southeast Asian countries. And something important here is that we may consider for Southeast Asian countries, Still, we are led by developmental state with trade promotion, still working on its way. And second one, the development of state capitalism with socialist concern, is that possible to happen in Southeast Asian countries? The third one, market economy versus people economy. And how about the state policy, how to balance? And number four, um, the rise of populist rivalry against traditional elite, and this happened in every developing country so far. And number five, with an uh, emphasis on regional, on regionalism or regionalization, is more than globalization. Since now, many countries they doubt about the influence of globalization. And number six, geographic importance on regional economy and politics. So this one is things how to bring geographic uh, research back in to our area. 
And number seven, internet strategic triangle. Now it seems it's not just only for Taiwan to play the game with USA and China. And Southeast Asia country, they also play the same game like Taiwan, how to uh, get a better niche and to have more national interest as well as national uh, security. So strategic <coughs> triangle analysis become very important. How about Vietnam development? And you still need to look at China and look at USA. And the case of the, the Philippines still working the same. So it's not just only for Taiwan to have this kind of situation and then to play the game for strategic triangle. And the last one, authoritarian central right democratic politics with neoliberal and neoclassical economy and the separation of politics and economy all still come together. And overall, well, this uh, I would like to share with you and how do you think about and how do you to make a research? It depends on you and your preference and your research interest. Everybody, everyone is quite different. So you may pick up something or maybe can give you some um, uh, impact or give you some, have some kind of the uh, theory or practice or even though for the methodology, how do you apply in a better way? And that will be your job. It's not my job. My job is giving you everything. And you just pick up some for your own. And that will be good for all of you. And thank you so much for your attention. And I also hope everyone can be very successful in academic uh, career. And thank you again, and thank you the conference organized um, director, Professor Lee. And it's very, very good for me to be here and share something with you. You can buy it or you don't buy it, always okay. That is not my business. And my business is how to, within 15 minutes, and tell you about more than three hours, you know, contents. And that really is overload for you. Uh, All right, thank you very much, and hope that a uh, very successful and excellent company today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Song, for a fruitful speech. Everyone, before our next program, let me quickly introduce the agenda for today. First, because some scholars are not able to come, so we change the agenda. Therefore, you will find out there will be some changes on the panel presentations in the handbook. Please see the agenda board in front of the elevator at 12th and 13th floor, or the 8th S3 size agenda on the door of the each room. And second, today we have over 10 poster presentations. Please see the handbook for their abstract and you may scan the QR code on the graders of 12th and 13th floors to read the posters. You're welcome to give the author feedback after reading. And until 10.15, we will have a short break at the 13th floor. Then we will have the first session before lunch and the rest two sessions at the afternoon. All presentations will end at 4.20. Please come to the room at Z1307 at 4.30 for a closing ceremony. Then we will invite you to a dinner banquet to call for today's conference. And last, for tea and lunch time, please go to the 13th floor to enjoy a meal. We also prepare a prayer room at the 12th floor. If you need any help, please do not hesitate to ask your staff, those with bad t-shirts, 
Thank you, and wish you have a good day in Windsor. Thank you, everyone.